Which you guys got another video here for you. This is probably one of the most asked questions when it comes to computers. Why does my PC get slower over time? That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Now, it doesn't really matter what PC you've got. They do get slower over time. And there's many reasons for this. And we're going to go through every single one of those reasons in this video. So it's going to be a pretty lengthy video, but I want you to make sure I try to cover as many reasons why your PC slows down and why it ends up getting really sluggish. So in no particular order, we're going to start off with the first one, which is to do with your browser. So if we look at the browser here, you can see we have bundles of tabs open and having too many browser tabs open can use up a lot of memory and this can really slow down the PC especially if you don't have a lot of memory to start off with. So if you've got, say, four gigs of memory, which a lot of people only have in their systems, then basically you're going to end up running out of memory and it's going to get really, really slow. And you can see here, you're going to get um, high, very high usage and a lot of memory being used. Now, browsers have managed to deal with this a lot better over the years, but it's still a common problem and I see with people with loads of tabs open. And they don't want to close them down, so they just put them down into the taskbar there, and they start playing a game, and they start running out of memory and things like that, and it causes the PC to slow right up. And some browsers are more system hogs than others, so the way to combat this is make sure you've got plenty of memory in the system, and that will stop the system running out of memory. And I see this quite a lot on PCs, especially older types of PCs where they haven't got a lot of system memory and they're older systems to start off with, which means they're not designed for the modern day. And basically they can really slow up the PC quite a lot. These are old habits that people have. So what you want to do is end task on all of these and close them off. And basically that should be uh, giving you some memory back. A good restart sometimes will also clear all of that out as well. So let's go ahead and close these tabs off as well. Once you open it up, these tabs will be there again. So highlight them all, right click, select all, and then you can right click again and close. And this will um, give you a warning. So you can see here, we've got quite a few tabs open here. Now this is quite a powerful PC, so it's not so much of a problem. Uh, but again, if you've got an older system that doesn't have a lot of memory to start off with, uh, then that can really slow down the PC. So the next area we're going to be talking about is that you have far too many startup programs starting up and you need to disable these. And the reason why this happens is because programs have become more sneaky about trying to get into the startup area. So when you start up your PC, these are all loading up and basically running on the system in the background. And these can be a bit of a resource hog. And also some programs are not made equal and they want to basically update in the background as well while you're using your computer so if you've got a lower end system this can be a bit of a, a resource hog on the system if you've got a pretty beefy pc it doesn't really concern me as much as it used to many years ago but it's still a problem that needs to be addressed every now and again when you've got far too many uh, programs loading up here another problem that we're going to be taking a look at in this one is the clicking without thinking so many people go to websites and they start click 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 and then start downloading stuff that they never wanted and that starts to install in the background and before you know it you've got adware or potentially unwanted programs installed on your system which can then tie up all your resources and slow down your system so be very careful of what you're downloading and if you are downloading something go to a reputable website where you can download these from a reputable source and you're not going to end up with loads of unwanted programs. This is a very common uh, problem for a lot of people. Also, you can see here when you're clicking on things, pop-ups will pop up and you can say, no, thanks. I want to continue to the download that I want to get. And if you went to the main source, you probably wouldn't have half as many problems as you're having here. Another problem I see is uh, programs trying to install other programs during the installation process. You've got to be super careful here when you're installing programs. You have to look at what you're clicking on because you can end up agreeing to terms that you don't agree to and end up having programs slipstreamed into your installation with other programs. And next thing you know, you've got potentially unwanted programs on your system. And some of these can be malicious 
and cause your system to slow down. You end up with pop-ups and it can be a real nightmare to uh, get rid of them. So next up, we're going to be talking about a corrupt operating system. Now, when you've got a corrupt operating system, this can cause major problems, slowdowns and issues, errors, blue screens, all sorts of problems like this with your PC. Now, why do they happen? There's many reasons for this to happen. Far too many to go through in this video. But basically, if you've got a major problem with your operating system and you try to fix it and it doesn't work, by running certain scans like FC scan now and you're getting error codes and you can't fix it and you're pretty much exhausted all of your um, time on it rather than ignore the problem and keep using the PC and watching it get worse and worse and slowing down the PC the best thing to do is head over to the built-in reset this PC inside Windows 10 and Windows 11 you can hit the reset this PC. What that will do is reinstall Windows and it will back up your data. It will remove all programs. So make sure you select the right one here. If you want to completely remove everything, you click on the remove everything. There'll be nothing left, no data, no nothing. Or you can say keep my files and this will keep your data. You can either choose a cloud download or local reinstall. I tend to go for the cloud download. And then basically that will download a version of Windows and install it onto your system. All the programs will be removed. Your data will be saved. It's always best to back up your own data though. It's always best to do that because in case something goes wrong during this reset the PC process, you will have a backup of your data. Don't always rely on Windows or Microsoft to back up your data. It's your data and it's your responsibility to make sure it's backed up. But you can see here, they're going to go through a resetting process and reset the PC. And hopefully your problems will be resolved if you had an issue with a corrupt operating system. Another problem I see is the browser extensions. Now, although browser extensions can enhance your web browsing experience, they can also hinder your web browsing experience by overloading the browser and making the browser really sluggish and slow down web page loading and things like this. And these, these things can really cause a lot of problems. And I see this with a lot of PCs where people load up their browser with loads of these. So if it was me, I would remove these and keep these to a very bare minimum. And that way you're not loading up uh, the uh, browser with tons and tons of extensions. And some of these that people don't even use. And some of them are not equal to others. And some of them are made by malicious companies that will actually... Uh, you know, collect data and other things like that and slow down the PC. Next up, we're moving on to uh, viruses. You may have viruses or malware or Trojans on your PC if you like downloading uh, programs that you've not paid for or stuff like that. You can end up with loads of malware on your system and that can really slow down the PC and your experience of using that PC. Also, having too much antivirus programs, too many Antivirus conflicting with each other can also really cause problems with your PC. You don't need to overdo it. You need to have just one antivirus program. That is enough. And again, you can have rogue programs that are hogging all of your system resources. And this is another common problem that I see on people's PCs. And uh, basically, just you know, go back to basics. You only need one antivirus program to keep you safe. Now, you can also use programs like Process Explorer. It's been around for a very long time. It's made by Sys Internals, which is part of Microsoft nowadays. And uh, this will allow you to find any rogue programs that are running on your PC that's uh, using up a lot of resources and also any sort of malware and things like that. So you can keep an eye on this. You can have this in replace of your task manager. You can replace it if you wish and have this open. I tend to like this quite a lot because it does give you a lot of information about what's happening on your PC. So these are a great uh, way of also detecting, uh, you know, dodgy files on your PC. And you can do that by using the virus total, but you need to enable it on here. And I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty simple and easy to do. But all you need to do here is right click on on a process here and you will see check with virus total in the drop down there but you can also go up to here where it says uh, options and you can see uh, replace with task manager here and you can see virus total just above that and you can check with virus total here it will say uh, you must agree to the terms and conditions say yes 
and you'll see the uh, virus total has now been added to the right hand side here you can drag it over if you wish and it's checking all the files to make sure that they are okay and they're safe if you find some here with loads of red in them uh, you can click on them and it will take you to the virus total web page and basically it will tell you whether that uh, file is malicious or not another thing i see quite a lot of is high cpu usage high memory usage people don't have enough memory on the system uh, disk usage might be high and that might be because they're using mechanical hard drives or it may be uh, partially damaged uh, bad sectors it could also be uh, high network usage where programs are updating in the background that can take a lot of resources up also the specs of your pc if you're using a, a 10 or 12 year old pc and you're trying to run modern day tasks that can also make that pc really struggle and it's utilizing all of its resources and this can really slow down the pc and really there's not a lot you can do about that apart from you know uh, upgrading your hardware to maybe an ssd and adding more memory and things like that so you can see here check your resources you can always check to see usage here for disk your uh, usage and also for your memory usage and your cpu if these are all whacked to the 100 percent mark and really being utilized then you're doing something that is really taxing the system and you need to find out what that is to find out why your system is running so slow because once it is running at 100 percent there's no more room uh, for resources to be used and that will really slow up the system. Let's move on to having a look at uh, HW Info. This is a program that will allow you to check your temperatures and information about what's going on with your PC. But high temps are another problem what I see with people's PCs. They either have a thermal compound that needs to be replaced, it's gone hard, and it needs to be taken off and cleaned and basically put fresh compound on or you may be having an issue with airflow or dust build up in your pc so if you've got plenty of dust in your pc uh, heat can't dissipate through dust and you can use something like this blower to blow out uh, the dust and you can see these filters they can sometimes suck up a lot of dust just like this one this will restrict airflow and also it will make the heat rise inside your case which will also make all of your gpu and temperatures rise now over the years i've tried a few different methods for cleaning inside pcs compressors and they can create moisture and blow liquid into the case you've also got compressed air canisters which also can do the same thing these are just blowing air into the case and blowing out the dust as you can see it's very effective and it's also very cost effective because you're not spending vast amounts of money on those compressed air cans which i still see people using today so what you can do here is take it outside give it a good blowout with one of these devices here now another common problem i see is people using a drive when it's at its full capacity and basically when it's really full uh, windows needs to be able to store temporary internet files and your operating system needs a bit of a space to uh, use and also you've got download files that you've got there and there's loads of other things that windows needs to do in the background like updates and if you've got no space this can cause major problems and slow down the pc quite considerably now also if it's your main c drive that is going to be more problematic because obviously uh, if you run out of space, Windows needs to do some updates, temporary internet files, download files, all these things that you'll be doing. So maybe think about clearing out all some junk or maybe upgrading your drive to a bigger drive. Now, next up is another problem I see quite a lot, and that is when you have bad sectors or a drive that is failing and people still continue to use them even though they are failing. This is a common problem that makes the PC run really slow and you can have blue screens and all sorts of problems. Now, Crystal Disk is a piece of software that reads the smart of the drive. And basically, you can see it's giving me some information and it's telling me we have a caution. And this is related to the reallocated uh, sector counts. And this could be other things related to it as well. And you need to make sure your drive is in perfect working order because if it isn't, then you can end up with uh, you know drive failure, which means you're going to lose all your data. So if you test your drive and it's uh, the smart reading comes up with either a caution or it will say something like this, which it will be bad. This means your drive is failing and you need to replace it. And it's the same thing with mechanical drives. If your drive is a mechanical drive and you have bad sectors on it, 
it's time to replace that drive. If you don't replace it and you refuse to play, replace it and continue to use that drive, you can end up having a major hard drive failure or SSD failure, and that will uh, be obviously a loss of data. So that's what you basically need to look out for when you have bad drives. These can cause major problems with your PC, and these can be random crashes, blue screens, and all sorts of stuff happening with your computer with bad drives. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. So I hope this one helps you out. Plenty of options there to consider while your PC is running slow. There's many, many more. I just wanted to cover the most common ones. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I just want to say also a big shout out to all my YouTube members who joined my YouTube members group, including some of the new ones that have joined. I really do appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.